Happy Patch Day, everybody. Welcome to uh, Phasmophobia Ascension version 0 0.9. Uh, yeah, but everyone, six months, but we finally got the new patch. Uh, we're going to go over the patch notes. We're going to go over, we're going to go into the training room because the training room is, I think the rework of the training room for Faz <clears throat> is probably better than any training room for any, any ghost hunting game now. Um, it's, it is by far, I think beyond because other than just having the gear and having to write up, you know, they actually talk, they talk you through it. They walk you through it. Um, yeah, I think it's outstanding, but let's, uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get in there and let's go uh, take a, take a look at it. So here's our patch notes. So Ascension major update version 0 0.9. Welcome back. We've got an update for you. Progression. New leveling system has been added with new rates of progression. Sorry, my eye is itching. New unlocks and a prestige system. Uh, so I think there's a little bit of confusion from some people. Like I was one. I was thinking that a lot of gear was going to be unlocked also. All that was on. And I think I read into that. I don't think I read that anywhere. I think I just read into it. Uh, all it is is the maps. So if you were over level 100 on FAS before, you get Prestige 1, but all Prestige 1 means is you unlock the maps. Uh, for this system to function, all current players have been reset to 1. Prestige 1, level 1. This way you can continue to play with your unlocked difficulties and locations. Okay, yeah. New players will start New players will start at Prestige 0, level 1. Which means that you'll have to level to get the maps. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering what this... Yeah, we had a good day on, stream, on uh, Twitch today. Uh, warning players now found editing their level will be banned. Which they should be. Right, Legacy Badge. Upon launching the game for the first time after updating, you will be presented with a new screen to choose a unique badge with options based on your pre-update level. Once saved, this is uneditable, so choose carefully. I really hope they fix this and make you and let you choose. Um, I've got the... I was... I When I finished up level 21,000 yesterday, so the highest I think it went up was 20,000. So I've got all the high the high end, but still, uh, I kind of hope that it's like I like my badge, but I would love to be able to mix and match some stuff off and on. All right, equipment upgrades. Each equipment item has three tiers, increasing our equipment count from 22 to 60. Tiers cost a large sum of money to unlock, but each tier will cost the same to bring into, into a contract. Um, I will say now, tier one gear is old, um, it is a game changer. Uh, no way to look around it. I felt very uncomfortable today. I streamed for six and a half hours and I was uncomfortable the whole time. Now there's some bugs and there's some glitches. Uh, right now there's an issue with smudge sticks not always working. Uh, <laughs> but I think I died five times. Four of my deaths were because my smudge stick didn't work. So, but... I was I was very un, at unease today. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. The to upgrade a piece of equipment, reach the required level, go to the shop and press on any items UI tile on the screen, then hit upgrade. Renaming several names have been replaced to accommodate changes or for the new upgrade tiers, so that the word covers a broader spectrum. Fingerprints, evidence, ultraviolet. Uh, footsteps are now footprints. Candles and lantern, firelight. Uh, matchbox and lighters, igniter, much, uh, smudge sticks and sensor, incense, camcorders and movie camera, video camera, glow sticks and UV torches, UV light, sandy drink, pills, and shot, sandy medication, uh, head mounted camera, flashlight and goggles, headgear, and weak or strong flashlights, flashlight. Yeah, going back to level one, uh, tier one flashlight, which is the old flashlight. Oh yeah, also, yeah, we'll get, we'll get into this. Uh, we felt that Dots wasn't a very interactive evidence type, so we're, we completely refactored it from ground up. Instead of being a clone of the ghost that gets spawned in and revealed with Dots, the following will happen. You will no longer get duplicate Dot ghost or Dots triggered, triggering during events, hunts, or other interactions. Ghosts with Dots evidence can now enter a short dot state where they are temporarily visible with infrared light. During this time, they will wander towards the nearest player before disappearing if the player is in the same room. Dots ghost photos now count as normal ghost photos. Banshees will try to roam towards their target instead. 
I will say right now, dots aren't working well. <laughs> um, we had to basically guess. I think I had like five dots ghost. I was playing professional because I wanted to just make sure all the evidence was working right. I think I had five dots ghosts. We kind of sort of thought we saw one dot. Um, the rest was a guess because I could, we, I was standing in place for like over 30 seconds, walking around and we just could not get uh, dots either. It, even in small little rooms that you know that you should get dots, we were still not getting dots. So uh, I think we were getting dots. We're just not the tutorial, the training room, what they show you what we should be seeing is not what we're seeing in game. Um, it's very like, I think at one point we were like, oh, was that a tentacle? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, this needs to get reworked. This needs to get fixed. Or we just get need to get better at recognizing what is a dot and what's not now. So, which is probably what's going to end up happening, but that's what it is. Fire lights and igniters. You can now turn off fire lights by pressing the use button again while holding it. Fire lights now have a duration for their effects and no longer stop the sanity drain completely with different amounts of sanity benefits per tier. Fire lights or candles. I guess that's uh, maybe a UK thing. All right, parabolic microphone. When using parabolic microphone, you will now clearly hear all sounds you're aiming towards within range while all other sounds will be muffled. Uh, the tier one, when you get something, I mean, I had a couple of hunts start close to me with the with my parabolic pointed at them. I jumped out of my skin because it was so freaking loud. Um, also, you know how the old parabolic, you know, if you heard something over here, you could like move your parabolic over real quick and you would get an echo of it on your parabolic. With tier one, you're not getting that. Um, so even so, medium and large maps, I'm finding actually harder with the parabolic because I'm not getting, I'm not able to, it's like I have to have it happen in the cone. And the cone for the tier one is like this. Instead of the salad bowl, it's this. And you have to be aimed at it to get it. Um, incense, the interval in which the ghost checks if an incense is active is now much smaller, making repelling the ghost much more consistent. Using instance during uh, another instance effect will now reset the timer instead of doing nothing. Uh, so in the, in, I've died to this a couple of times where you, you light your instance, you might throw it down, or you change over to your second instance, and you start that second instance too too soon. Uh, in the old, the old way, it would never work. Now it's going to reset. So, and this part, I'm not sure what this means. I think this is what's causing the issues with people dying to instance. Um, I can't find a rhyme or reason. Some people are like, oh no, if you throw it down, it doesn't work. I was like, no, I've held, I held it and I threw it down and I died. And I think I even had a death in there where I flipped over to something else. But yeah, salt and ultraviolet. Salt will now only reveal footprints if the ghost has ultraviolet evidence. UV, I, we did not get this. Uh, I did not get this all day. Uh, UV prints must now be charged by a UV light to take successful photo, but I also wasn't testing it. Uh, footprint, print, footprints will be affected by ghost trails similar to fingerprints. Glow sticks can now be used again after they dim to shake and revitalize the light they produce. Basically, it's just have your light stick in your hand and shake it. Yeah, that, that didn't look good. Uh, thermometers and temperatures. Thermometers are now counted as starter item alongside the other evidence items. Cold breath effect will now show at five degrees. This is a kicker right here because I'm trying to think of if, if I had any game where it did not go down to five degrees. So you're pretty much always seeing your breath. And if it's snowing outside, you're going to see your breath everywhere. Um, five degrees Celsius and below, you must now use a thermometer to find freezing temperatures at zero Celsius or below. Okay, we're going to look at this when we go into the training room. I want to say in the training room, it says below zero Celsius. So be careful with this because I want to say I got a ghost wrong today because I thought the thermometer said zero. So I said temperature. So I said, because I read this, I said freezing temps and it wasn't a freezing temp ghost. So just be careful. I might have, maybe I looked at the thermometer wrong. Maybe it was one degree. But yeah, just be careful with it. To the same room temperature reading, you must now hold the use button for a short period. Tiers two and three only. Room temperatures will now be much more consistent between players. Freezing ghosts can now lower the temperature to minus 10. 
Non-freezing ghosts can lower to one Celsius. Temperatures will now drop one third current speed. This is actually a little, basically take the thermometer, throw it in the room, walk away, come back, pick it back up. Tripods and video cameras, max amount reduced to four. Uh, ghosts can now throw video cameras like other items that have not had this happen yet. Ghosts can now rarely knock over tripods, have not had this happen yet. Uh, consumable, some items are now consumable. This means that if you use the item during co during a contract marked mark as consumable in the shop, you will have to purchase it again when you leave. My last game this happened, I forgot to buy more matchsticks and I, yeah, I couldn't do, I couldn't do the, la I couldn't do the last objective because I didn't have matchsticks to light the incense because I forgot to buy. <laughs> Disabling lose, lose items and custom difficulty will not consume items. Uh, crucifix, all tiers, firelight, one and two. Um, igniter, all tiers, incense, one and two. Salt, all tiers, sanity medications, all tiers. Photo system added a new photo camera system, which takes into consideration the distance and view angle of the evidence. This will significantly change the quality of photos. Evidence and photos will now need to be closer and centralized to get a higher quality reward. I ran into this a couple times. I took what, what used to be a three star ghost photo. I was getting some two stars and I wasn't that far away. So make sure that you're centered up. Reward changes, several rewards have had their values adjusted to feel more rewarding and encourage the completion of objectives. Rewards for all objectives tasks in the weekly challenge have been increased drastically. Yeah, uh, weekend challenge has gone from $3,000 to $5,000. Any experience earned will now give you the same amount in dollars. Rewards for collecting the bone will no longer be affected by the reward multiplier. Also, um, what was it I was gonna say? Oh, uh, the weekly challenge has been reset. So if you did the reset, if you did the weekly challenge Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's been reset. You can do it again, which is great because, yeah, getting that 5,000, though, I'll tell you, man, tier one, it was taking me over 20 minutes to do some, to do Belize Dell a couple times. The tier one gear is taking you much longer, which means your sanity is draining while it's taking much longer. All right. Training. The training mission has been replaced with brand new experience to ex exit. To access it, press the training button on the main menu. This version of training is set in custom-built warehouse with different rooms to show the player how to use each item, evidence, equipment, as well as give tips and tricks on how to play the game in controlled environment. Gamepad 2.10, added gamepad UI buttons, controls for the journal, voice recognition text, and main menu. Replace gamepad UI navigation with a virtual on-screen cursor. Blocking players. You can now block other players. You know, I totally, I totally read over this and I totally oh no 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 <laughs> that we were talking about this in chat when we read blocking players and you can now block other players we thought it read like you can like block the closet and people can't go in but no that's not what they meant blocking another player will keep them permanently muted until you unblock them to block or unblock a player press the block button on either other player cards or the recent players page you can also unblock players by going to block players tab in the pause menu but yeah we were reading we when we first read this we're like holy shit you can block people from going into closets Ooh, that's going to get a lot of people killed. But then we read on and was like, ah, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of wish it was the other way. <laughs> All right, new. Upgraded the Unity engine for many performance improvements. There's some bugs. There's some graphical bugs, but overall it looks pretty good. Swap from the forward to forward plus render. With this, turning on multiple lights should no longer reduce your performance drastically. Added a help button above the equipment list to explain the new icons to the player. Clicking on any equipment panel in the shop or loadout pages will now open a new window, displaying new information and buttons for upgrading. Small and that's actually been pretty good. It's 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 a very nice write-up. A small tier button has been added to the top left of each equipment, which you can click to quickly cycle through unlocked upgrades. New gameplay descriptions and lore notes have been added to all equipment viewable on the upgrade screen. You can now set a loadout to auto buy. This will refill any missing items. When mis finishing a mission, but only you have, but only you have the money to buy all the missing items. I'll show you what this means um, because it's showing you is better than reading this. Added range indicators while placing it to all ghost writing books. Emotion sensor three. Added platform specific icons to the player cards and recent players pages. Give me a second. It's a lot of reading. And this is the second time I've read it. Player voices will now be affected by audio effects such as the Sunny Meadows hallway reverb. Added gamepad UI button uh, for the journal, voice recognition, and main menu. 
added vr head collision when the game loads into the map or main menu it will now always be a smooth fade for vr and non-vr the ghost will now leave emf when blowing out a candle several equipment changes several equipment items can now be turned on and off by pressing use when aiming at them while they are placed they probably need to capitalize that added support for, support for the quest pro and support for the vive focus all right and we've got uh, we've got a bunch more changes in-game voice system has been replaced with photon voice i still use windows voice other people have been using uh photon voice i think they were i think it's been okay but yeah i like i like using windows voice because i like being able to make up things i replaced and added several new sounds for equipment the new sounds in the game well okay that's for equipment and for the and for ghosts and for events it's pretty freaking freaky i'll let you know it's 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 scary uh, replace and added. Okay, move the camera view for the head mounted camera so that it's slightly easier to watch other players' views. Crucifixes will now have extra 50% range per tier against demons. Incense will now have an extra 50% duration against Maroi. Rebaked lighting in all locations, main menu, and training. Increase the height of the equipment list panel in the lobby. Increase the penalty of choosing a monkey paw in custom games. Yeah, that's to. There was a bug. If you didn't know, there was a bug on 10x in sunny meadows that people were using to cheat the game uh that's why all these if, you, if there's gonna be a lot of people who are like oh i got to like this level or this level or this level it's like yeah how long how long have you been playing the game well i've only been playing for this long yeah you cheated um yeah it was basically yeah they could basically run 10x and not have to worry about dying <laughs> uh i wish to see the ghost will no longer teleport the ghost in front of you it'll only just reveal the ghost where it's uh, the current position Turning off flashlights and custom difficulty will now turn off all types of flashlights. Dots, dots one, UV two, etc. Updated all equipment loadouts for weekly challenges to accommodate tiers. Some are harder, some are easier. Reduce the chance for ghosts to interact with the door as it was overpowering other interactions. Move the tarot cards in the collection cabinet so you can see them all at once. Yeah, instead of a one big line, it's now two two rows. Much it is easier to see. Uh, candles found inside contracts can still be lit. But you no longer can grab them and take them to other pla and do not provide any sanity altering effects. The take a ghost photo objective will no longer count if you take a ghost photo when your journal is already full. So my piece of advice: buy your one camera. All cameras are now also uh, infinity, which there's it's nowhere in here, but apparently one of the devs said it. But apparently all cameras are infinity now. So buy one camera. That's it. I mean. Okay, buy one camera for you. If you're if you're soloing, you buy one camera. If you're playing multiplayer, then you need to have cameras for everybody, but or however many you can. But if you're soloing like I do, yeah, I've got two cameras right now on my loadout. I need to rep I need to change that to one. Um. So yeah, just don't worry about five, whatever. So you need to get. So if you got it, but if you not got to get a photo, you've got to get it on the first ten. Um. Light range has been reduced and will no longer cast shadows the same performance. Improved the performance on the fountain. Didn't even know that was bad. I actually kind of liked it. Removed distortion for VR. Improved support for new HTC. Uh, replaced Turkish font to make it more readable. VR smooth monitor view has been renamed. To screen, social screen. Several candles in Sunny Meadows Chapel have been adjusted. Light range has been reduced and will no longer cast shadows the same performance. The fallen candelabras will now restart off and cannot be relit. All right, fixes. Players should no longer reach the maximum light count, resulting in lights not casting an invisible light, basement floor being black, dots not showing on walls, etc. Uh, weekly timer will now display the minutes and seconds left when there is, are less than 24 hours left. They will not have the correct interaction rate. EMF interactions can no longer cause incorrect collisions. Players will no longer change their order between the lobby, truck, and journal. Fix the common crash when initializing VR. You can no longer repel the ghost for another player with an unlimited range. I had a couple of people that would do that for me when we were do if when I when I would do multi uh, community games, so, but it, they were they, they never did it in the truck. They it was they were always in the house, but yeah, but they were usually nowhere near me. They will no longer age when only a dead player is nearby. They will do th they will now do fewer ghost events as it ages, instead of more. Yokai will now have increased hunt chance, and activity for all talking players instead of just the host. Tanglewood basement audio effects will now change when they should. Tangle basement room bounds are now accurate. Mirror will no longer count keyboards and TV remotes as light sources. Uh, the ghost can no longer get stuck at the back of the woodwind games tent. 
I've actually got a, there's a YouTube clip out there. I can't remember how long ago, but I've got where he's stuck. The Sunny Meadows camera icons will now show on the correct floor. Setup timer will now be set to zero after using the Ouija board. The Ghost Mist event will now move towards you instead of above you. The Monkey Paw can now be grabbed while the Sunny Meadows Chapel crosses on fire. Items during contracts will no longer break if you are holding an item in the main menu before loading. Numbers and player names will no longer be translated when using Arabic. Several items will no longer push you around while held and you're crouched. Fixed, yeah, that's got me killed a couple of times. Fixed a crash on low-end hardware that caused quality settings to be too early. Due to the new voice system, issues with desynced voice chat, voice delays, and poor voice audio quality are now significantly improved. I've actually always been okay, but that's because I use Windows. The Windows voice. Uh, VR loading fade will now be completely black. You can no longer walk through the bushes and willow. Oh, ghosts can no longer spawn, travel to unintended locations in high school. Mimics will no longer always have cold breath that they had previously mimicked a haunt to. Lighting the summoning circle will no longer turn the lights on the room. The ghost would prove this in. Moonlight will no longer be visible in the Sunny Meadows basement. Yeah, I found that out. Restricted wing. And photo camera can now be detected by the ghost during a hunt when non-host is holding it. And High Priestess tarot card will now correctly work in single player. I'll be honest, I never had a problem with this. So I don't know what problem there was, but I've never had a problem with High Priestess card. Uh, known issues, players sometimes do not leave the lobby correctly and are still visible, causing a bug where you have to restart. Changing your key bindings won't currently change the sticky notes in the new training mode. Some shiny surface reflections such as the truck floor will flicker on and off. I've had that happen a little bit. Enab enabling MSAA will cause white outlines to appear around certain surfaces. Work around use, F uh, use FXAA or SMAA. I did not see this. Uh, VR placement highlight is incorrectly aligned to the truck and belt. VR headgear can be toggled on and off. Some equipment and figure photos uh, may be inconsistent. If you experience any issues and want to give feedback, please join the official Phasmo Discord, which I, if you're going to be doing stuff, I highly recommend. All right, let's put this over here. And let's take you guys through the training module. Let's uh, turn this off real quick. All right. So let's take you guys through the training. Come on, game. There we go. All right, so training module. That doesn't look right. Give me one second. Okay. So so here's your, so here's your the the main menu training are you sure yes and like i said this Welcome by to far day at ghost hunting distribution read the whiteboard to get started all right so welcome here at ghost hunting distribution we'd like to welcome you to our training facility to start grab a flashlight behind you you can toggle the flashlight with the use which as you can see over here and over here are your uh, sticky notes telling you what your buttons are well, as long as you don't change them. You can cycle through your handhelds, and when you're ready, grab the key to the right. All right, so let's grab a flashlight. Grab a key. But yeah, th this this is... I highly recommend that you do this. I tried to play uh, what the, my first weekly challenge, and some of the gear, I was like, uh, I don't know how this actually works. And I, so I went back, did the training... And I was like, oh, okay. And that helped, and boom, I was good. All right, guest room. Your first goal when enter entering a haunted location is to find the ghost's favorite room. This room where the ghost will spend the majority of its time to find the ghost room. Look, at, look out for open doors, items that have been thrown, or sounds coming from that area. When playing higher difficulties, ghosts can change their favorite room when wandering. Room one. Okay, when I did this the first time, yeah, when I did this the first time, things were being thrown all over the place. All right, room two. Nothing really going on. Room three. If you basically stick the door to the next section. Okay. If you kind of wait around, things will get thrown around. There's nothing you could do, but it's just kind of cool to watch. All right, so sanity. Each investigator has their own sanity level. 
uh, reps into the truck by percentage. Okay, this is different. So, yes, yeah, so you definitely want to pay attention when you're going through the training. When playing in a team, you will also have an average sanity level. Several things can lower your sanity. Standing in the dark goes to Vincent abilities. You can restore your sanity level by using sanity medication. Try drinking one using a bottle below. It'll take a few seconds to replenish. Try it out. Grab one below and use it. This is this is a change. So instead of just automatically filling up your sanity, it now um, gradually puts it up. Good job. Like in this case, I'm not sure how much it's going to fill up, but yeah. All right, so lighting. To keep your sanity stable, you should stand in lit rooms. You can turn lights on using their switch aim. Each location has the maximum amount of lights that can be turned on at once. Depend uh, If you exceed this number, the fuse will box will trip. You can turn the fuse backs on by interacting with the switch. Try tripping the fuse by playing with the lights to the right. So that one's already on. Boom. Boom. Well done. Oh, there we go. Then just turn it back on. Okay. So next is electromagnetic fields. Yeah, these new these new uh, G, uh, EMF boxes are interesting. Here's something you're going to want to know. The needle will sometimes barely go past five. That does not mean an EMF five. I don't know if they will change this or not, but we had at least, I think, three ghosts that we said were EMF five today where the needle barely went past the five and if they weren't EMF five. They, it, you basically, it's basically got to ping it. Got to uh, ping it, uh, pin it down, or ping it. I can't remember the word. But in a normal contract, you will only need to find up to three evidence types. EMS spots are left behind in almost everything that goes to interact. These hot spots last for 20 seconds and can be read with any EMF reader. Grab your EMF reader below, turn it on with use. Then move it towards the objects that a ghost has recently interacted with. Some ghost types will release stronger EMF. If your EMF reader is displayed a strength of five or higher, this is, this is in evidence. Open your journal by pressing journal. And then choosing EMF. But like I said, if it barely moves past five, don't count it. Wait till wait till it basically goes like at least maybe halfway. Nice work. Okay, we did nothing. Okay, see yeah, see how the needle see see how the needle's moving? I'm trying to see if I can get a EMF five. Or get it will get one where it's barely moving, but yeah. But what I'm saying is, let's see if I can throw this down for a second. So unfortunately, I can't get it that close. But so if you so there's the five, the needle will barely move past it. That will not count. All right here's the glow sticks, ultraviolet. Some ghost types will leave behind UV handprints on doors, windows, and even footprints. You find these listen out for paranormal interactions on these objects. Grab your UV lights, activate with use. If you find UV handprints or footprints, make sure to note them on the evidence page. Lastly, if you shine UV light onto a print for long enough, it will become charged, allowing you to swap to the camera and snap. You And you want to do this. I missed some photos today because I did not, I did not charge this long enough. I basically kind of went boom. Or like the, or this thing was like laying over here, and it showed the light. Or in some cases, it touched the door like three times. I had to okay. charge each and every one. And yeah, there's little, there's little sayings around here too. So make sure you uh, walk around. I won't show it to you. So. Thermometer. This is a new one. So ghosts are known for making the area around them colder, but some ghost types will push these temperatures below freezing. When navigating around a location, you may notice your breath. Being frozen in front of you, visualized by cold cloud of air. If you find this, it maybe we're checking the temperature of the room accurately. Like I said, if it's snowing outside, you're going to get temps everywhere until you turn on the until you turn on the power. To do so, grab a thermometer and walk into each room, then check the temperatures as they adjust. You're looking for anything below freezing. If you find freezing temperatures, mark it in journal. This is where the problem is. The patch mode, the patch notes say zero and below. This says below freezing. And I want to say I missed a ghost early today that it was at exactly zero. And I said freezing and it turned into, um, and it was not a freezing ghost. So just be careful. Maybe it was like one, maybe it was like one degree up. So maybe I read it wrong. But there is contradiction between the patch notes and this. 
patch notes say patch notes say zero and below this says below zero so or below freezing which is below zero let's see if we can find this thing but yeah see how slow this moves so yeah so we i've been basically as as soon as i see it start going down i just throw it on the ground then go grab more gear come back pick it up see where it's at And as soon as it starts going back up, you know it's not the right room. But this is this is what's up with tier one. Tier one, tier one definitely has made the game way different than what it was. It's definitely harder. What I'm finding funny is we're not seeing our breath either. I think it's going to wait till we go below five. Yeah, we're below five now. We're not seeing our breath. There we go. So I'm not sure why we're not seeing our breath, but even if I click on my voice active action. So there we go. Move to the next room. Low zero. Okay, here's the hard one. So here's your new dot machine. So, you know, you're looking around, you're looking around. Oh, look at this. The ghosts do not look like this. Ever. Good job. Uh, like I said, we... I... I got a ghost to light up like a Christmas tree like this once... And that was right when it started to hunt. I tried it later on on a couple of other ghosts. It never worked. So I have, don't know what to tell you. All I'm saying is be careful. Kind of keep it pointed after a while and see what you get because it takes forever. And like I said, I, I know I saw something once. Nice work. Or at least I thought I saw something once. Yeah, these, these cameras are crusty. Where are we at now? What do we got? Oh, writing. You just bring it in. Same, same as nor as it used to be. You're just waiting for it to write. So this really hasn't changed. So really, the only things that I mean, the things have changed are dots. The temperature is definitely different. Uh, EMF is definitely different. Come on, ghosty. There we go. Well done. This is different, tier one. Oh, sorry. Uh, e sorry about EVP recorders, spirit boxes, or radio devices designed to scan. Uh, spirit box grab below. If you get a response, the indicator will flash white, and you should hear a voice that's unique amongst the radio frequencies. It's really weird. If a flash is red, your question was heard, but you didn't get a reply. So basically, you're looking at the on the screen part, the on um, this part right here, the bottom right is a microphone and a ghost uh, ghost picture. You can barely see it. The microphone microphone part will turn white, or the the light next to it will turn white. The ghost uh, light will turn orange or red. Are you here? Yeah, there you go. Are you here? How old are you? Where are you? Oh, uh, one, we got the lights on, so we need to turn the lights off. Except we can't. Are you here? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Where's our light switch? Oh, there it is. That's a weird spot. Are you here? Where are you? The far region. There you go. Good job. And it turns white instead of orange. Or red. Right, hunts. During contracts, ghosts can initiate a hunt at 50%, and some can do different ones. Depending on difficulty you're playing, you may set up timer uh, like five minutes or so. Uh, when a hunt starts, the exit doors will lock, and the ghost will start searching for you. Turn off your equipment, hide in a locker, 
or crouch behind something tall and wait for it till it's over. Now we're going to simulate a hunt. Let's turn that off. Something's not quite right. You better hide quickly. Okay, and they and they use pajama girl. It's the same exact motion as last time. That was a close one. Congratulations. On and apparently some people you can exit through the truck by interacting with the keypad. And apparently some people have been getting that twice. They get hunted twice. <laughs> So if you get hunted twice, just be aware that, yeah, it's, it, it happens. It's a glitch. Let's go through here. Let's close that up. And there you go. That's the new, that's the new stuff. But, uh, but yeah, as far as I've played six and a half hours of the new patch, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the, the training area was really nice. It definitely helped me out. Uh, spirit box was the spirit box and freezing temps were the two, my first game playing. I had, I, what I thought was freezing temps and what I thought was spirit box, or actually I couldn't figure out the spirit box. I wasn't sure if the tier one was supposed to respond or if we were supposed to getting that orange light. So going through training, let me know that no, 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 the orange light is, it hears you, but there's nothing. Um, the temperature, like I said, I need to do some more testing on it. I could have swore my, actually, I'm going to look at my VOD. Um, that first game, I could have swore we had zero to zero degrees and it was not a freezing ghost. So, and, and the patch notes and the training area contradict each other. So, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys have fun. I am enjoying playing the game. I am, I'm enjoying, um, starting over. Uh, lately I've, I'm right now just playing professional just because I want to check. I want to figure out all the evidence. Like right now, my big one is dots. I don't trust if I ever see dots because I've had, like I said, I've had five ghosts today that were dots that I never saw the dots. So don't know. And that was even me. Like I said, standing around like for 30 seconds, like the old dots used to be and just seeing if I could get them and I wasn't getting them. So just be aware that that might be an issue. You might run into it. Other people said that they saw dots fine. So it seems to be case by case. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Love y'all. Be safe, be kind, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye. Peace.